The site HitFlix.com has put together a list of the 10 funniest game shows of all time. Yesterday was the 20th anniversary of the Game Show Network, so this website decided to put together that list. On that list, everything from Wipeout at number 10, which I think is hilarious, but not as hilarious as my son's and my husband think it's hilarious where they're like in these obstacle courses on water and they fall off platforms of course the asian version of wipeout is much funnier because i don't think they have any safety regulations wipeout's hilarious love wipeout <laughs> and then of course remember the weakest link that's at number six the gong show is at number five and you get up to match game is the number one funniest game show of all time so in honor of that and game show networks 20 years on the air we want to know today which game show whether it be a current game show because you know reality shows like the amazing race and survivor they are game shows because you win a prize or a retro game show like match game or family feud wheel of fortune stuff like that although wheel of fortune would be considered both retro and current because it's still on uh, just tell us which is your favorite john and leslie on wkdq Right now, we need to wrap up our conversation on Facebook about what current or retro game show is your favorite. It looks like Family Feud is the winner. Price is right. A close second. We did have some. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah, great show. Let's make a deal. Who's your lottery? There you go. Way to be live and local. Card Sharks. Whose line is it anyway? Which isn't really a game show because nobody wins and there are no points. But... It is fun to watch. It is. Pyramid. Remember that show? Oh, Gosh, the $10,000 of... Pyramid with Dick Clark? Yeah, that was awesome. Well, that had a lot of hosts, too. I think Donny Osmond brought the show back later on. He was the host. Okay, John, what's your favorite? My favorite always started like this. Remember this? The following no. program is brought to you in living color on NBC. You know that when I get to say in living color? Walter Matthau. Sally Field. Charlie Weaver, Jaja Gabor, I have no idea. Wally Cox, Nanette Fabre, the Hollywood Squares, the original Hollywood Squares, never missed it, loved Square. it, loved it. <laughs> I never liked that because I wanted the celebrities to have to really answer the question, not give their stupid like I have the answer in front of me, but I'm gonna make I'm gonna make up a different answer to try to fool the contestant. I just thought that was yeah, lame. I loved it. Never missed the Hollywood Squares. Loved Paul Lind, and when he died, that was that was the end of the Hollywood Squares when when they lost Paul Lind. I and this was when I was in elementary school. I would come home from school. I loved celebrities. The show Tattletales. Oh, yeah, I remember Tattletales. Was it Burt Convy? Bert, What's his Bert name? Convy. But basically what I loved, it was like the first like voyeurism look into a celebrity's yeah, life with, mm -hmm. without the paparazzi because you got to meet their spouse. Yep. And I thought that was the coolest thing ever because it, the spouse was never what I pictured them to be and to see them interact and, you know, answer questions yep. about each other. I just loved it when I was little. My gosh, I get off the bus, get myself a ding dong and sit down there and watch Tattletales.